guys, so I've always been really interested in things that are handmade, whether that is cooking food from scratch or making cards or customizing clothes. I just like knowing what goes into things. Since having Jack as well, that part of me has become even more switched on. Um, I think it's just because he is this brand new person and I don't know, I'm just really aware of everything that he consumes, things that go on his body, in his body. I suppose I like things to be as natural as possible in our lifestyle. I totally do not always achieve that in any way, but I strive to. I know, it sounds all hippy dippy. Anyway, I'll stop blabbing. I attended a course the other day because it was all about how to make your own beauty products. As much as possible, I'm really gonna make an effort to start making my own products from scratch. Just really, really simple things. You can achieve the same effect through using natural products. I'm a massive, massive beginner and I'm just entering into this world and yeah, I think it's really exciting so I wanted to share it with you guys. Hand sanitizer on the shelves is full of nastiness. You can tell, right, when you smell it, it absolutely stinks and it also dries creepily fast. Other products like baby wipes. Baby wipes, I learned, you can use to take tar off the wheels of cars, which just shows how strong all the stuff in them is. It's also really, really fun. Like, it's such a laugh experiment with all the ingredients. It is an initial layout, so, you do have to buy the ingredients, but I got them all on Amazon and did price comparisons. Then once you've got them, they make so much of the product. And just like cooking, you could do big vats of it and they last for ages. I'm also planning to give some away as gifts. So I just think it's a really fun experiment. You need six teaspoons of aloe vera. Aloe vera is full of vitamin E, which is pure goodness. This is witch hazel, which you need one teaspoon of. This is an amazing antibacterial product. This is apricot kernel oil. You need half a teaspoon of this. This maybe you've had about in massage. It's amazing for making the skin really soft. It's also antibacterial, antiseptic. It's also an antioxidant, so it prevents the skin from being damaged by all those horrible free radicals, which I never knew what meant, but I've just found out free radicals are basically everywhere around us and all those horrible atoms that damage our skin and cause aging and yeah, we don't want any of those. So apricot kernel oil helps ward those off. And you need 10 drops of tea tree oil, which is basically an amazing antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral. And you can basically add this to any of your hand creams, I learned as well, but just go easy because it is really strong. So that's it, those are the four ingredients. So six teaspoons of aloe vera. Two one teaspoon of the witch hazel, half a teaspoon of the apricot kernel oil, and this will help make the aloe vera less jelly. So if you need a bit more of this, go ahead and add it. Just give it a bit of a mix. The amazing thing about this hand sanitizer is that it actually feels nice on the hands, it actually feels like a moisturizer, and that's from the apricot kernel oil. And finally, 10 drops of the tea tree oil. Give it a good mix. So I am using a empty baby food jar, which I just washed out and it's here. Um, and I'm just scooping it in. And there you have it, a little jar of hand sanitizer that I now keep in my changing bag and dip in and out of when I need it. And it's so easy, all natural products. It smells great, it's good for your skin. Yeah, I mean, I just don't see a reason not to use it. Honestly, I am a total beginner at all of this stuff, but I really urge you guys to give it a go. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of my random ramblings, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, I'm gonna try a bit.